going to bring in Credit Suisse analyst Catherine Arnold. Catherine, my question for you is, you know, on the one hand, you've got investors and bankers that, as Mike pointed out, might be uh, popping the champagne cork because they're excited that a deal, finally, a deal seems to be getting done. Yet neither of these stocks are really reacting the way some think they perhaps should. Why is that? Well, I think there, there's extraordinary times as a backdrop. Let's face it, when, when deals are announced in this market, you know, everyone's um, scrambling to say, can they really get the money? Is this going to happen? Um, secondly, I think when it comes to Pfizer, you've got a, um, a changing of the guard in regards to the types of investors that are in the stock. The investors that have been in, in Pfizer stock have been there because they want high yield. Um, the deal suggests that it's a, ch a change in the investor. They're bringing down the yield in terms of the dividend with the decision that they made today. They're adding more, more stability to the base, and they're raising strategic options for the company. So there's a change in the profile of the investor in Pfizer tomorrow than perhaps there is today. And so I think there's a, several complicating factors towards why the stock is acting so, the way it is. Say, so Catherine, um, profits are more important than deals. I think you would agree. I want to ask you. Washington hates drug companies, right? They hate drug companies. They're going to allow importation of Canadian drugs at lower prices. They may slap on drug controls as part of some health care reform, Medicare reform, might even nationalize the whole uh, kit and caboodle. What's your take here? Somebody looking at buying a health company, these big pharmas, Washington hates pharmas. Isn't that a danger? Well, it, it's, it's a danger and a motivator in terms of consolidation, Larry. I mean, the reality is the capacity for this industry is is is, un is unnecessarily large right now and so yes we're seeing self-help programs address that but if you think washington's tough that means pricing gets tougher and so as as much as we're seeing for every hundred prescriptions today thirty two of those are brands tomorrow that could be twenty um, so the capacity in the united states as well as the pricing environment suggested yep. that Mike Huckman, for the future of this industry is it critical that we see more strategic mergers well, I mean, to, to Catherine's point, in terms of reducing, uh, as she and many other analysts put it, the overcapacity in this industry, you say, yeah, but what's more crucial is they got to find good new drugs somewhere, whether it's in their own research labs and clinics or whether it's at the clinics and, and labs of biopharmaceutical companies. But, Catherine, I'm wondering uh, how you're handicapping the odds of this deal actually closing. The companies say end of third quarter during the fourth quarter, but clearly... The market is expressing a big amount of skepticism Ooh. here this morning. Ooh. Well, well, no, I mean, Ooh. no, no question. Go ahead, Catherine. <laughs> no question. The credit question is, um, you know, is out there. Although we are talking about um, company at the top of the capital structure, so I guess if banks are going to show that they are loaning money, I think this is the kind of deal that that they're going to be out there, um, you know, giving that money to. Uh -huh. So. I think that has to, that's probably being underestimated by the market reaction Wait, today. I can't I mean, I mean, Mike Huckman, how strong is your hunch? You're saying the deal might not go through. That got a woo out of me. How well, strong is this hunch I, of yours? I'm not saying that. I'm just, I'm just putting the question out there. And also keep in mind, Larry, that as part of this deal, Pfizer would have to pay a whopping $4.5 billion, about 3%. Uh, of its original value if this were to break up, whether it's for a credit reason, yeah. whether it's because right. a See, major drug fails in the pipeline hindrance. of Wyatt, etc. Yeah, right. I just that, want to that clarify that. Uh, Catherine like Arnold, thank you very thank much. Thank you, I guys. It. We appreciate it.